Good evening, I'm Russ Spencer. And I'm Amanda Davis. He's a piano teacher who makes phony claims about his background. Why do you have fake piano yes, on your yes, website? <laughs> and that struck a sour note with iTeam reporter Randy Travis. You've got fake people on your website. Watching out for you, a Fox 5 iTeam investigation. Of all the consumer investigations our I-Team has conducted over the years, this one's a first. That's right, a piano instructor who fooled both his students and a prominent university. Well, I-Team reporter Randy Travis joins us now with a musical hidden camera investigation that you won't soon forget. Randy? Yeah, Russ and Amanda, when you're a nationally honored PhD credentialed Emory University music professor, you might be able to justify charging 80 bucks an hour for piano lessons. But when you get caught lying about that and more, it looks and sounds a lot like this. Dr. Sutton, you're gonna break my foot, Dr. Oh, Tonko. Let's turn the lights off so you can't see him, but he's actually in there. How did a supposedly renowned Emory piano teacher wind up hiding from the I-team in this pitch black practice room? Perhaps it has something to do with the con he's pulled on his students. The sting we just pulled on him. Our performance debuts here, the American Piano Academy. It certainly seems like an impressive organization. Based in Metro Atlanta, the website touts the accomplishments of its managing director, Dr. John Stonko, a member of the prestigious National Association of Music Teachers, honored as Teacher of the Year with an impressive collection of equally experienced staff and instructors. Turns out, though, the American Piano Academy is tone deaf to the truth. I don't know what credentials he has. I have no idea because he's lied about so much. Michael so Kay took an evening at Emory piano course from Stonko, then later started paying for private lessons through Stonko's American Piano Academy. That's Kay standing in the back in a photo on the Academy website. But last year, the Lawrenceville man became suspicious of Stunko's Ph.D. and other claims. So he used a tool on Google called reverse photo imaging. That's when he discovered this fancy photo of the Academy's executive committee told a different story. I saw the picture. I said something's not right here. The picture was not taken by the American Piano Academy. It's actually a photo of an acoustical folk band in New Hampshire. Somehow, Stonko's picture was photoshopped over one of the band members, with the other musicians identified with fake names, as if they worked for the American Piano Academy. Stonko's attorney told us the photo was just there as a placeholder, as the website was being developed. But Kay gave us this email he says Stonko sent all his students back in 2010, introducing the Academy's executive committee, with that Photoshop picture right at the bottom. So the picture on his website was a fake? It's a fake. So is Stonko's National Association of Music Teachers certification. The group told us it has twice asked him to remove their seal from his site. Both the picture and the credentials have since disappeared. He specifically told me he had a PhD from Emory. Nope. Stonko's attorney says he has no PhD from Emory. His only affiliation with Emory came as a part-time instructor for those after-hour continuing ed classes, which the school canceled last fall. Stonko has never been a faculty member. But perhaps the most disturbing deception involves this, something called the Piano Orphanage Project, where that same fake executive committee encourages people to contribute as much as $160,000 to fund piano lessons for orphans. Several big corporations are listed as partners. So has anybody contributed? Well, Stonko says no. In fact, he claims the website actually went live before he had a chance to start raising money or helping orphans. But when we sent someone in undercover to take lessons from Stonko, well, we heard a different tune. I'm also the executive uh, director, or well, the executive director for the um, Piano Orphanage Project. I'm the managing director to American Piano Academy. He told us the Orphan Project already had grants from large organizations like Home Depot. The company told us that's not true. And what we do is we bring uh, piano lessons to the orphanages. That's so you go over and, and teach kids in an orphanage? We do, yeah, we sure do. Um, and that, that occurs on the weekends. We found Stonko teaching his private lessons in Emory's piano practice rooms. Only faculty and students are allowed to use this facility. Emory says Stonko is not supposed to be here because he's not an Emory instructor. And I teach you know, here uh, college classes as well. 
Yeah, so, yeah, I do. Yeah, oh, so wow. yeah, so I'm here a lot at every. So We're doing a story about the American Piano Academy, and we need to talk to you for just a couple of minutes about okay. that. Okay. And the, the the first question is, why are you lying to your students? Um, I, I'm not, Marge. We need to talk to you about this. I'm, pretty serious stuff. You can make an appointment. You're you're not to, you're not to be in this building. Are you are you to be in this building, sir? Yes, I am. Well, are you a faculty member of Emory? Listen, the, I. Are you a faculty member of Emory, sir? But can you tell us who these orphans are, who you supposedly are teaching piano? Why do you have pictures on your website of people who clearly don't even exist? Dr. Stanko, I want to know why you're lying to your students. Come on. How many people do you think are really behind the American Piano Academy? One. John Stanko. Yeah. Again, all the deceptive information has now been removed from Stanko's website. I know there was a lot of running around going on there. We, we actually thought he was taking us to the person at Emory who had given him permission to be using those piano practice rooms. It wasn't until we got to that second building and wound up on the roof of that building oh th that we realized that he wasn't interested in talking with us. He just was trying to get away. He certainly knew his way around, could yeah. say that. I have to wonder, though, something as serious as an orphanage project right. Did anyone really contribute, do you know? That is the big question here, Amanda. He says no, he says that that charity was never active, but you know, the website says something else. It says it was active, you could click on PayPal and contribute if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. It listed partners, it listed people who had contributed, and he said in our undercover visit that it was an active charity, that he was busy teaching orphans how to play piano on the weekends. The former students don't know what to think. They, they feel they've been deceived in so many different ways. All they know is they're taking piano lessons now from someone else. All right, fair enough. Randy, right. thanks.